Hey y'all, Chris here. So the video you're about to see is actually gonna be included as part of a future episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. However, I figured people would be interested in it now. And since that video won't come out till probably November or December, I figure I'll give you a, kind of a taste of it by unboxing for you the Metroid Dread Special Edition and the Metroid Dread Amiibo that I happened to find during a game hunting session. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this unboxing experience where I open up and show off all the cool stuff contained within the Metroid Dread Special Edition and Amiibo. All right, let's get to the Metroid stuff. Now, before we get to the big stuff, I do want to show this off, which is the pre-order bonus for Metroid Dread. Even though I did technically cancel my pre-order Metroid Dread, it was just so I could pick up the special edition. So I still got the pre-order bonus, which is this cool pin set. It's got Samus and what's the robot called? E Emmy, Emmy. So that's pretty cool. Um, can add that with my Mario Golf one that I got for pre-ordering that one as well. I should have like give out pin sets for some reason. All right, we have the Metroid Dread Amiibos. Now, before I open this up, did want to mention these are pretty valuable. So, of course, when they announced this Amiibo set to go with Metroid Dread, they sold out pretty much everywhere. So I had a feeling this was going to be very difficult to come by, and GameStop had two of them available. So of course I had to get it. I paid $30 in credit for it and brand new, this Amiibo set is currently going for $67 on price charting. Obviously that's a lot of money and it's even more <laughs> when we get to the special edition, but I wanna keep these because A, these are really cool looking and B, they actually do benefit you in the game. So yes, I could flip this for an easy buck or I can add them to my Amiibo collection and enjoy them and that's what we're really doing when it comes to gaming like yeah i know some people buy games to flip and that's it i'm a gamer i like to play games i like to enjoy my games so i'm gonna open this all right so we have the two amiibo so here is emmy this is the robot that's going to be chasing samus down in metroid dread Pretty nice looking amiibo, honestly. This gives you bonuses. On the back of the box, Emmy gives you, uh, it replenishes your missiles once per day and you get a bonus missile plus tank whenever you scan that amiibo. And then here is Samus in her awesome looking Metroid Dread suit or the Zero suit. I love the, uh, the detail in this amiibo. That's really nice looking. So I got both of those. Uh, Samus in Metroid Dread refills your energy once per day and you get a bonus energy tank. So using these in the game actually gives you some pretty solid bonuses. Kind of a little less than the, the Loftwing Amiibo. That one's still kind of the weirdest one because that one gives you a fundamental advantage. The fact you can immediately go from the sky to the ground as opposed to if you don't have it. So these just give you little bonuses, which I'm sure are helpful uh, in the game, but it's interesting. I mean, I still like the Loftwing Amiibo a lot and I'm glad I found one, but these do last, but I think it's more so just the fact that they look really cool. And if you're a big Metroid fan, you're definitely gonna wanna pick these up. So I got them for 30 bucks in credit. All right, here's the big one. So here is the Metroid Dread Special Edition. Now I honestly never expected to get this because first of all, when they first became available, they were sold out immediately. No retailer had them. So I, went in fully expecting to pick up my regular copy of Metroid Dread and I had a bunch of credit left over. I was hoping I would find the Amiibo and I did. So I'm glad I was able to pick that up, but I never expected to find the special edition. This was the only one they had. It was a one, it was one copy. It was sitting behind the counter. It was available. It was one of those things where I could not let it stay there. I had enough credit to pick it up. You're not gonna find this again, let's be honest, unless you wanna pay an arm and a leg for it. So I'm like, you know what? I can pay retail price and get this special edition 
I'm going to do it. So here it is, the Metroid Dread Special Edition. Here's the front of it. The back is freaking awesome. Like, honestly, if that was a poster, I would hang that up on my wall. That is the coolest thing. Uh, so this special edition includes the game, steel book, an art book, and art cards. So it's not the most, like, gigantic special edition. I mean, this thing is heavy, though, so... It must have a pretty substantial art book slash art cards and all that stuff. Has to be pretty substantial if the box is that heavy. So I'm going to open this very carefully because I don't... I'm going to display the box in my living room. So I pulled out the first bit, which is this... Okay. All right. So here is the steel book. Very nice shot of Samus. Uh, lots of robots behind her in the background. Cool background. I believe the game is in here. Yes. That's a very slick looking case. I love the uh, Metroid symbol. And then there's the game chip right there. Very cool. So these are the art cards. Yo, I didn't even notice this. All right. So, you know, Nintendo went all out on this special edition. The cardboard that those were sitting in has details in it. Like they're robots climbing a mountain on the cardboard. There's battle damage on the cardboard. That's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard of a game going that hard where the cardboard that holds the steel book and the art cards has details on it. That's amazing. So let's open these up and then we're gonna take a look at the art book, which the art book is the weight. And uh, it looks like a legit, like, coffee table book. That's an impressive looking art book. So let's open this, these cards up and we can take a look at these. So here's the first one. That's, that's pretty slick. Are these literally all the Metroid games? Yep, that's what it looks like. So here's a cool, it looks like it's kind of holographic artwork of all of the Metroid titles that have been released. So here's Metroid 2, The Return of Samus from the Game Boy. Oh, that's so sick. Then we have Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo, Metroid Fusion on Game Boy Advance, and then the final game of the mainline Metroid series, Metroid 5, Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. These are sick. These are really, really cool. I also love the fact that the holder is also a major part of this. Yeah, Nintendo kind of killed it when it comes to the packaging of this. So I understand why people wanted this. Like you have the Metroid logo embossed on this. It's got the same battle damage as the cardboard does. That's sick. That's really, really cool. Put that to the side. All right, let's take a look at this art book, which is freaking huge, I might add. So here is the empty box. I'm probably gonna put the cards and the uh, cardboard back in the box for display. This though, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find a place for it. But like this thing, like when most special editions come with an art book, you expect it to be like the one for this, you know, a little, you know, fun little thing. It shows you some cool art from the game, but like, it's something that you're easily gonna kind of forget about after a little bit. That's not what this is at all. Like this is a legitimate art book. Like, look at this thing. Look at that. It's hard cover. It's very heavy. <laughs> so let's let's take a look at some of the art. Oh man, here we go. Here's some great old school key art of our heroine, Samus Aran. That's awesome. Uh, more Samus right here. That's really nice. Oh, here's Metroid Fusion uh, Samus right there in the Metroid Fusion suit. Yo, this is like, this is legit. Here's some concept art of one of the games. I'm not sure which one, but like, if you are a big time, oh, there's schematics and maps and stuff here. This is legit. Like, yeah, this looks like one of the maps from, I would assume Metroid Dread. This is awesome. This is really cool. So I was a little skeptical because like that special edition is $90 and it only included an art book, a steelbook case, obviously the game and some cards. 
worth every penny. Like the box, it, like the, the box is worth it. Like that is amazing. I love that art. The front of the box looks great. The, the cardboard that holds the cards and the game case is great. The art book is freaking amazing. Like one of the best art books I've ever seen. So Nintendo knocked this out of the park. So obviously this is gonna be a very difficult version of Metroid Dread to come by. But if you can find it and not pay an arm and a leg for it, or I mean, if you're okay paying an arm and a leg for it, that's fine too. I would say pick this up. I think this is a very, very good version of the game and it looks great. So I'm excited to display this. I need to find a place to properly display that art book because that is a really nice art book. And now I have my first Nintendo Switch Steelbook case and it looks really good. So I am excited to finally get to play Metroid Dread on the Switch. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs>